And he is the basketball phenom everyone has been buzzing about right now, going from bench warmer to big star overnight. New York Nick Jeremy Lin has been on a dramatic scoring tear, including, yes, that three-pointer last night. Josh has been just sitting here patiently waiting to tell you about Lynn's sanity. Indeed I have. Well, not so patiently. Well, not so patiently, no, not at all. And, you know, let's face it, they say that it's all because the teams the Knicks have played are bad or all his teammates are hurt or he's in a good system or really it's only been six games, a tiny blip in the rightful making of a legend. And they're right, six games. But for Jeremy Lynn, oh, what a six games they've been. Of course this is how it would end. Three drives, goes in for the layup. Score talk, clock dwindling, and Jeremy Lin doing something everyone expected him to do. Lin puts it up. Bang! Jeremy Lin from downtown, and the Knicks take the lead. Even if no one saw him coming. I think it's a miracle from God. I don't think anybody expected this to happen. Now, after six straight wins, Lin has become the biggest star in sport, trailing a madness very much at odds with this quiet, devout Christian. Lin was unrecruited out of high school, then blossomed late at Harvard. He would go undrafted and spent a forgettable rookie year with the Golden State Warriors. This year, the Warriors cut him, as did Houston. I have no hard feelings toward any organization, especially the Warriors, because they gave me a whole year to develop. Then came a call from the Knicks, and not knowing if he'd last a week, Lynn did what so many semi-employed 23-year-olds do. He couch-surfed, hitting up his brother and his teammate, Landry Fields. He simply became a folk hero. By his third game, Lynn scored 76 points, the same as his rookie year total. In his fourth game, at home against the Lakers, he scored 38, and Linsanity was born. Jeremy's playing great. You know, he's, he's playing phenomenal right now. Just a few weeks ago, Lynn didn't have a job. After last night's Linsane heroics, that doesn't seem to be a problem anymore. I know it's tough for you, George. Hey, but hey, hey, we can t we can turn that word on its ear over and over again. It is a great story, and you'll be happy to know Jeremy Lin is a couch surfer no more. Basketball's newest star is subletting that apartment in White Plains of the Trump Tower. It's a, where Amari Stoudemire actually lived before he moved into the city, subletting it from a former Nick, David Lee. And uh, it's fair to say I think he's home for a while. Moving on up. <laughs> That's a great story.